So in this video, we're going to be doing blindsiding. Now, this isn't my proudest video in the world. Uh, I made this video like four years ago and I'm only now getting to it. I think, I don't know even know why my, uh, there is no steering wheel. There normally is a steering wheel when I'm, when I'm recording. So that's probably the reason why I put it on the back burner, but I know I found it. We're going to do it now. And before we jump to that, I would like to thank everybody who has subscribed because if you didn't subscribe, I wouldn't have gotten this. So, uh, this is really cool. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. By the way, just in case you didn't, you can't read it. It says 100,000 subscribers. I'm currently sitting at 110,000 subscribers. So, awesome. Thank you very much. All right. So, let's jump into it. Now, this is not the best setup. Uh, I could critique myself so many times with this video, but I think what I was trying to do is pretend that there was these trailers over here were sitting over here. So that's probably what happened, but I would have used a lot more of this room over here at first. All right, before we start backing up, uh, yes, we're doing a blindside. Now, one of the biggest tips that I can tell you when it comes to blindsiding is take the curtain down in the sleeper. All right. At a, at a certain point, you'll be able to see the back tires and the trailer that you're parking next to. Not for the entire time, but anyway, the, the, right now I'm driving an international truck and it's a nice big window. I love it. The Freightliners don't have the biggest window, but you can it can still help you out in a tight situation. So trust me, I recommend it. Um, getting out and looking is very vital. All right. Now, I do believe that roughly around here is the angle that you can actually see the back of the trailer all right now you're still not seeing exactly the whole picture but if you do get close to something then that'll be very handy all right now um let's keep going then if you want to get out and look do i don't use the, or you have a drone great for you but i wouldn't back up using a drone that's just it's 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 stressful it's stressful it's really really stressful i'm not looking at the drone when i'm backing up into these okay now, um, one thing I do do is, is that I'll set the brakes and I lean over uh, into the passenger side and take a look that way. It's just it's a, it's a bit of a time saver. That way I don't actually have to get out of the truck and look. You know what I mean? You kind of you stay there. All right. You get and you get to keep the picture in your head a little bit more. But anyway, so you will run out of air if you do it every two seconds. All right. I've done that. I've had students do that. <laughs> so. You know, just know that you will actually lose you lose air the more you set your brakes, especially do not set the trailer brakes because you lose even more. OK, sorry, I keep talking too much. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I'm jackknifing too quickly. It is again, it's a blind side. It's hard to tell when you're looking in this bottom mirror what, what's going on. So I'm just going to keep going. I know I'm not going to hit anything, so I'm just going to just keep going. Obviously, I'm chasing it here. Now, the reason why it, over here kind of looks like I'm going to hit, but obviously in this bottom mirror, I'm not going to hit. And roughly around this angle too, you can probably, you know, lean forward and be able to see a lot more. But uh, so we're going to, we're going to keep going because I can see this part back here. I can still see the trailer over here. All right. So I can keep going. I'm just going to keep going until I pretty much can't see it. All right. Oh, no, that's actually where I stopped. I'm sorry. All right. Now I'm going to do my pull forward. Now I can really see it. And lots of times when I do do a pull forward, I will do it where I can see in both mirrors. Basically, see this. This is a mirror uh, to this one, basically, uh, you know, where I can see down both sides of the, of the truck or the trailer. Now uh, I'm just going to do a straight back for a few feet. All right. And then back into a jackknife. It is very scary. Uh, d this trailer over here, it is very scary. It's because you can't see it. All right, and now you're blindsiding and you really you can barely see the one over here. Okay, now I will start chasing here in a second, but I chased a lot later than I should have. All right, and I don't know why I did that. All right, now right now we're parallel. I should really stop right now. Okay, I really should stop. I don't know, I don't know, am I sticking my head out the window or am I looking out the back window here? I don't know, but I keep going. I don't hit anything. You can see that I'm not hitting anything. I'm a, I'm a good foot away from this guy over here. All right, but a lot of times when I do back up, I always bring my trailer more than parallel. That way when I pull forward, it, it's it just it's better, you know, that way, because now I'm parallel again, but anyway, sorry. Okay, straight back again. All right, we're just gonna focus on the straight back and then we're gonna, I don't know, ease, easily back it in now, <laughs> all right? And uh, it's not too bad. Now, I have thrown, thrown this game into my game, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and just show you a better way to do it, all right? So, yeah. And now, because we are blindsiding, I went ahead and turned the blind spots on for you. Now, I personally am going to be using a controller. I have a steering wheel as well. 
Uh, but it's in a box right now, and I, just, I wasn't. I was lazy, but it doesn't matter. Okay, you can kind of you can see what my steering wheel is doing up here. Okay, so um, this is the ideal one. All right, this is this is the setup I would do if I was sight sighting. All right, now basically when I get to the end of the first trailer, the first trailer I'm backing up next to is when I'm going to start turning. Okay, so I'm going to turn hard left, 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 and when do you start turning to the right? Now. I roughly around here that, that allows me to miss these guys and I'm just going to keep going a lot of times when I finish off I start myself off where my truck is uh, running parallel to this line here all right and the first thing I'm going to do is point my steer straight and then start backing up and see what happens okay so I'm just going to start backing up now I can't really see anything right now okay now I'm not 100% sure when I should start chasing okay so this will be a good time to get out and look Okay, or stick your head out the window or look back here and that'll help you out. But let's go ahead and get out and look and see what happens. It's looking good. Now I can back up for a, for a while here without actually getting into trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and chase a little bit. So I'm basically going to turn one rotation to the right. I know this shows only half a rotation, but in the game there's only one rotation. But roughly around here will be one in real life. All right, so I'm going to start backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. And I kind of have, you know, you're... I, you kind of can't really see what's going on. All right, so let's take a look. All right, this looks really good. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, crank it all the way to the right and start chasing. And then and again, the more the, the more of a straight line you have with the uh, with the truck and trailer, the more you can see, as you can see. So I'm going to, if I keep going, I'm going to hit it. But all I have to do is just do a simple pull forward. So I'm going to go off to the left and pull forward as much as I possibly can before hitting this guy. And then hard right. And now I can just do a straight back. All right, let's do a straight back. There we go. There we can do a little bit better maneuvering there. And we're in. All right, now this is the actual way I would do it, okay? Now, when, once my mirrors get to the middle of the, the trailer that I'm backing up next to, which would be right here, I'm going to crank it all the way to the left, okay? And I'm going to be basically pulling a U-turn. So uh, it's always best to avoid a blind side when possible. I would nearly always do a U-turn before I do that. I know there's some companies out there that will actually fire you if you do a U-turn. Uh, but anyway, when do, you, when do you start turning to the right? Basically, once you can actually see down the space, all right? That's when you start turning to the right, okay? So I can start turning to the right right now, and I'm just going to keep going as hard as I can right before I would hit that trailer, and now we're sight sighting, okay? I'm just going to point my steer straight a little bit. There we go. Now we're avoiding it. Okay, looks like we're missing that guy. Now I'm going to do a straight back. There we go. Yeah, I could be happier with it. And to the right, and to the left, and now we're in. There we go. That's what I would do. Whoop. Anyway, cool. Uh, thank you again for subscribing. Everybody who has subscribed, if you haven't subscribed, click that note, click the subscribe button somewhere on your screen. Uh, and yeah, all right. Drive safe. And if you have any questions, don't be, don't hesitate to email me, or you can just put it in the comments below. Anyway, all right. Good luck now. Bye.